Simply oh, time to fight. to be in trying to match up with Manny Pacquiao if you don't have a lot in your gas tank because he's got plenty to give. Yeah, but it's a funny thing here. Manny, usually when you fight him, you've got to worry about him attacking you and hurting you early. Manny has to worry about his opponent now, knowing he can't stay the route and coming out quick. Yeah, good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by Manny Pacquiao. They both decide to bring it. Solid hook upstairs. Yeah! This is great action right from the start. What an opening round between these two. Cotto's movement's really helping him out, avoiding that punch. Little head knocking with that right hand. Pacquiao on the mark with that right hand. Great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the word by Manny Pacquiao. Pacquiao's putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. Keep it going. And now you see the southpaw pulling the trigger with the straight left. And this round comes to an end. A round that was highly entertaining. They put forth a non-stop effort. Well, that's the styles that they figured to bring to this fight. Both guys with good motors. You gotta protect and now we got a fight. He fires back a right hand of his own. Got to be accurate to send the combination to the body, and he does that. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. Well, I don't know if he's hip to the idea of becoming a counter puncher, but I get the sense you'd agree with it. Yeah, definitely. I mean, he's got the perfect platform, the perfect form for it. The guy's walking in right now, not moving his head much. He can time him, he can counter him. To the head he goes with a left hand. Very nice work from both men. They each got a shot in. Keep it up. Miguel Cotto with a big right hand. Oh, what a hook upstairs. A big punch by Manny Pacquiao. And out of nowhere, things can turn like that, Teddy. Everything was looking good. Now it's looking bad for him. Well, that's exactly why, because nothing was coming at him. His opponent wasn't throwing back. He got a little lax, and he paid a price. Cotto's proving to be elusive. Well-targeted two-punch combo by Manny Pacquiao. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Good flush shot. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. Cotto's opponent is having a field day, Teddy. That left hand lands again. Well, he keeps moving the wrong direction. He needs to move away from that punch. And that's the end of round two. Cotto's cut man is going to earn his pay for sure. That is a bad gash. And I'm wondering what he's using in there. You know, you can only use certain things, Avertine, Adrenaline, and Thrombus. I'm wondering if he's using legal things right now because that's the kind of cut that tempts you to use crazy glue. Really on the mark with that overhand left. Turn that hook over, but couldn't turn it into a connect. Good right hand. 
Good combination. Hook into the body with the left, and then going up top with the right. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Miguel Cotto. And a punishing hook. Just ate a big uppercut. He's in bad shape. Solid. One. Two. Pacquiao's now getting back up off the canvas. Come on. 90 seconds to go in the fight. Cotto smashed by a hook. And the ref's not going to tolerate the headbutt there. He hands out the warning. Well, you could see what he wanted to do there, but unable to land that body shot. Parries that punch intended for the head. Pacquiao's able to land a good, solid left hand. Comes across with a hook up top. Manny Pacquiao's being very efficient right here. I mean, he's picking his shots. His accuracy is through the roof. Well, that's one of the talents, and you hope is a talent, of a top fighter, is his ability to pick his shots, to be calm enough to see the opening. He's seeing everything right now. Both men digging in with uppercuts. Miguel Cotto's movement helped out there. He avoided that punch. A sharp hook to the head by Miguel Cotto. That was a left hand that came raining in on him. He does not look good right now, expecting the clinch. Final bell of a close fight. Teddy, sometimes there's close fights that are actually easy to score. This wasn't one of them. No, you could make arguments for both guys almost every round. Miguel Cotto's your winner by majority decision tonight. You know, I know there's going to be an argument with me in the barbershop tomorrow because my barber's going to be saying, what were they?